pick me over uh, on, <laughs> on, on, on the show. All right, last game of the night. Uh, the Atlanta Hawks fighting Jamal Murphy, which we young. They are seven point favorites. They are in the Bay Area to take on the Golden State Warriors. Over under for this game is 219. Although I find that number interesting because you might not think that either of these teams will play any defense here. Murph, uh, the Hawks have been playing good as of late. Uh, they, they got a little bit of a skid, two-game skid, but they've been playing. They had won eight in a row before that under Nate McMillan, even though they did Lloyd Pierce dirty. I still will say that. Uh, Trey Young still can't guard anybody. Jesus, he's bad. Um, <laughs> do you like your, your Hawks here to get back to their winning ways uh, against the Warriors? And what do you think about that over-under? I think it's a little bit low at 219. Yeah, I like the Hawks to get back to their winning ways. You no, know, no Steph Curry again tonight uh, against Golden State. So I like them to get back to their winning ways. But that seven and a half is a, a little much for me. I could see Golden mm. State, uh, you know, playing them a little tougher than that. So if I had to pick, yeah, I, I would, I would give it to Atlanta uh, to cover that. The over under, um, I do like the over two nineteen, just because of Golden State without Steph and. You know, will that will it be a competitive game? Like you mentioned, Atlanta has actually been pretty good defensively, especially under Nate McMillan. So they've been keeping the score kind of low. So that's a close one, but I think I think I do like the over at two nineteen. Atlanta's in terms of uh, with the spread, Atlanta's eight and two, or uh, six three and one against the spread the last ten games, uh, compared to Golden State, who's three and seven. So give me give me Atlanta, not not overly enthusiastic. Give me Atlanta. With the seven and a half and and with the over two nineteen. All right, there you go, uh, Brian. Uh, are, are you on Team Trey Young uh, erupting tonight and leading uh, the Hawks to a road victory? Yeah, I'll take the over and I'll take the Hawks. Um, I don't. I'm not interested in this game at all. Like, this is not a game that I'm going to watch tonight. I actually think that Golden State should have probably been the Victor Oladipo team if Miami didn't pull that trigger because they could have used them, and he would have been interesting as a second option in that offense. But, I mean, Golden State didn't really do anything worth mentioning, so I'm just going to take Atlanta because um, everything Murph said. And the over-under is too low. You said 219 and a half? Yep. That's That's way too low. Like, that's an over that I would take, like, by a considerable amount considering how – offensively uh you know potent both these teams are but y'all can let me know tomorrow because i ain't gonna watch this shit i'm not interested in hawks warriors at all or you could just or you could just look at your score and the game is over you can do that too that, that would work um gerard are, are, are you i don't know if you have any interest in the game or not as interested as brian uh but do, do you like the, the hawks or the warriors to get the upset here um I think the over-under is actually exactly where it should be. Yo, guys, the Warriors are the number seven defensive rated team in defensive rating in the league. They can guard. And not only that, when Steph Curry does not play the on-off numbers, they are putrid on offense. And that's yeah. even going against the Atlanta Hawks' terrible-ass defense. They Golden State can't score. Uh, but, you know, minus seven, I like the Hawks tonight to take this. So I'm going with the Hawks minus seven. But I'm staying away from that over-under just because Golden State, who the hell knows what they're going to do. Yeah, I yeah I can see him not put. I just it's just interesting if if this turns into a blowout and Atlanta, who's definitely capable of scoring, I I don't know. It's a tough one, but I'm inclined to go with the over. But we'll 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 see. But I would not take the Warriors in this game without Steph Curry no, no. and and maybe with, no Draymond. Maybe no Draymond as well too. So that's something to keep an eye on before game.